Welcome to an introduction to proof by contrapositive. Recall that an implication of if P then Q is logically equivalent to its contrapositive, if not Q, then not P. There are plenty of examples of statements which are hard to prove directly, but whose contrapositive can easily be proved directly. This is all that proof by contrapositive does. It gives a direct proof of the contrapositive of the implication. This is enough because the contrapositive is logically equivalent to the original implication. The skeleton of the proof of if P then Q by contrapositive will always look roughly like this. Assume not Q, explain, 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 therefore not P, indicating the original implication is true. As before, if there are variables and quantifiers, we set them to be arbitrary elements of our domain. Here's an example. Is the statement for all integers n, if n squared is even, then n is even, true? This is the converse of the statement we proved earlier using a direct proof. The statement appears to be true. Let's prove that it is true using proof by contrapositive. A direct proof of this statement would require fixing an arbitrary n and assuming that n squared is even. But it is not all clear how this would allow us to conclude anything about n. Just because n squared is equal to 2k does not in itself suggest that we would write n as a multiple of 2. Let's try something. Let's write the contrapositive of the original statement. The contrapositive of for all integers n, if n squared is even, then n is even, is for all integers n, if n is not even, meaning n is odd, then n squared is not even, meaning n squared is odd. This looks much more promising. Our proof will look something like this. We'll let n be an arbitrary integer. Suppose n is not even, this means n is odd. We need to show that n squared is not even, meaning n squared is odd. And now let's fill in the details for the formal proof. We will prove the contrapositive. Let n be an arbitrary integer. Suppose n is not even, and thus n is odd. Then n is equal to 2k plus 1 for some integer k. Now n squared is equal to the square of the quantity 2k plus 1 which if we multiply this out is equal to 4k squared plus 4k plus one. And we can factor two from 4k squared plus 4k and write n squared in the form of two times the quantity 2k squared plus 2k plus one. And since 2k squared plus 2k is an integer, n squared is equal to two times the integer 2k squared plus 2k plus one, we see that n squared is odd and therefore not even. And the proof by contrapositive is complete, meaning we now know the original implication is true. For all integers n, if n squared is even, then n is even. I hope you found this helpful.